guys, it's Katie and welcome to another video and it's going to be the last time you probably see my hair this length, I'm getting my hair cut later, I'm a little bit scared but I'm actually like more excited so I'm excited to see what you guys think but also nervous too, um, so I don't really know like how it's going to go, um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you this hair but my hair is just so totally like dead at the moment, like a lot of this is dead hair apart from obviously my roots um, where it's been like dyed so much and everything like it needs to just I need to just start a bit fresh so I don't really know how it's gonna go but I've got like a couple of ideas so my little mobile hairdresser I haven't had my hair cut in a while but I managed to find a girl who's willing to cut my hair um, and it's gonna be like sometime later this evening so really really kind of excited about that so today's video is going to be a book haul a book haul of books that I have accumulated during December and to be honest there isn't that many at all a couple of them are towards like a Christmas present that I got as you know I got a gift voucher for my aunt to use on Amazon and so I selected two books to go with that and then I got gifted two books from a friend and then the other two books I found whilst in a supermarket um, so yeah and there might be others as well we shall see and I'll let you know so first of all I'm going to begin with the couple of books that I got like towards the Amazon voucher I wanted to get these in time for Christmas so that I could enjoy them a bit more so the two books that I selected were Stalking Jack the Ripper and this is by Kerry Maniscalco. Now this book has been receiving like quite a lot of hype at the moment. A lot of people are saying like how this series is quite amazing. There's other books in this series as well. I think there's like a second and a third book that are out. Um, and yeah, so it sounds like really intriguing. I love the cover to this. And also James Patterson, the very James Patterson, who, you know, big international thriller crime writer who my nan absolutely loves and like reads like all of his books he's helped to publish this so I did not know that but until that says on the top and it sort of explains it in the front of the book as well um, which is quite interesting um, that he's just done it it's, it's the first young adult novel that he's chose um, uh, as well so yes I'm very very excited about this one and the other book that I got towards the voucher was An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I love the cover to this book it's like that metallic sort of sheen and shine which is what I love and adore. Nothing too fancy underneath. I did have a little poke it's kind of like orangey and that underneath. Sometimes you get surprised with hard books so I always always like to look but I love reading my hardback books and for some reason this is a lot thinner than I assumed it was going to be um, especially like for the price of it as well um, but I'm hoping that I'm really really going to enjoy it the premise of the book sounds absolutely fantastic these next couple of books I got from my friend Minx Laura and she is a lovely 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 person and uh, she says that I am one of her favorite booktubers and I still get in awe whenever she says that because I'm just like I'm not, I'm not really like that big of a booktuber you know I'm not like well out there um so when somebody says that they're a big fan of my videos I'm just like that's no I'm sure there's like better people out there at all um so she messaged me and asked me if she could send me a couple of books one that she's recently read and one that she um isn't going to have time to get around to so the one that she's recently read that she's been raving about is The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reid um, so I have obviously heard things about this book but I don't actually own it myself it's a nice little floppy paperback as well um, but you know the premise of this book just sounds really really interesting um, but you know if Laura said that she's really enjoyed it then I definitely definitely want to give it a read and the other book is this chunky book here which is 6-4 by Hideo Yokoyama now this book I, I kind of I feel like I've seen it somewhere but I'm loving the pink pages now this is actually like a Japanese I think it's a Japanese um, Japanese crime phenomenon and I just feel like it's going to be interesting reading from a different sort of culture from the Japanese culture um, so yeah and there's like loads of like quotes in the back saying like how amazing this book is but it's really really big it's like over 600 pages that's crazy um, but you know I could 
get into this and read it really, really fast. It's just one of those things. So, yeah, thank you very much to Laura. She also sent a lovely, lovely note that came along with these books saying, I hope you like the books. You are awesome. My favourite booktuber. You inspire me. Hugs from your friend Laura. Minx Laura123, as you can see right there. That is so, so lovely. Thank you so much, Laura. If you're watching, which I know you will be because you always, always watch my videos, um, thank you to the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. Um, it's a shame that we live so far away because I'll be over your house like way, way too much. In fact, that you get, you get bored of me. But thank you all the same. The next couple of books are the books that I got from the supermarket. The first one that I picked up from a supermarket is one I was in Sainsbury's and I picked up Darker by E.R. James. And I haven't actually read Fifty Shades Dark Ages yet, but I did start it and get kind of into it. But this is obviously from Christian Grey's perspective, so the second book from his perspective. So it is a bulky book, just the same as like the second book, and you know, obviously darker. I always like to hear from the other person's perspective, especially Christian Grey, because he's like an interesting character all the same. He's very like shut in and like doesn't reveal his feelings like too much. So yeah, he's an interesting character. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get this book. And the other book that I picked up whilst I was in Morrison's, I picked up Jojo Moy's Paris for One and Other Stories. So this is her little short story collection. Um, and it also includes an extract of Still Me, which is the, the book that's in the Me Before You series, which is going to be a third book that comes out in January. So that's really exciting to actually give a little read. So these are like little short stories. So all in all, I'm really, really excited to give this book a read. I've gained some extras, and the first of which is from HarperCollins Children's, and they sent me the paperback finished copy of Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. As you can see, it's very, very metallic, just like with the hardback and even round on the back as well. This actually comes out like the end of December. This paperback release it has a little, little, uh, it's not a sticker, but like, you know, one of those circular things on the front that says it includes a divergent epilogue called We Can Be Mended. So I don't know what that's about because I haven't actually read Allegiant because you know spoilers and everything um but yeah i i love the fact that it's blue and metallic and it's so so nice that i've got a finished copy of this because i've still got my arc copy of it um and i feel like it's also kind of pushing me to give it a read so um i'm definitely definitely looking forward to giving this book a read in the new year for sure so thank you very much to everybody at HarperCollins for sending this book to me. This next book that I got, it's called The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily XR Pan. So that's what this one is. This is the ARC cover because it says on the back here, like the release date, it says 22nd of March 2018. Um, so I don't have any idea like what this book is about, but there's a quote on the back by John Green saying it's brilliantly crafted and her first novel portrays the vast spectrum of love and grief with heart-wrenching beauty and candor and it's a very special book. So yeah and there's like other quotes on the inside, Gail Foreman's quoted it, uh, Holly Black's quoted it, Rene Adier's quoted it, uh, Nova Rensuma has quoted it as well. Um, so it says here Lee is far away from home and far away from Axel, her best friend, who she stupidly kissed on her, the night of her mother dying, leaving her with a swell of guilt that she wasn't home and a heavy heart thinking she may have destroyed the one good thing left in her life. Overwhelmed with grief and the burden of fulfilling her mother's last wish, she retreats into her art and into her memories where colours collide and the rules of reality are broken and the only thing Leah's certain about is that she must find out the truth and she must remember. She's 16 and her mother dies by suicide and the only note that her mum leaves is I want you to remember. She doesn't know what it means um, but a red bird appears with a message and she finds herself travelling to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents for the first time. So it sounds really interesting um, and and I feel like it's going to be quite touching and heart-wrenching, especially, you know, with the mum killing herself with suicide. And also a little bit of travel because they're going to Taiwan. Um, yeah, it sounds really, really good. And it also came with this cute little mochi, mochi, I'm not sure how that is actually pronounced, but it's like right here. And uh, it's red bean. And I actually kind of researched it and it's kind of like a little dessert thing. So I look forward to, you know what, I'll just eat it right now in this video. 
it's meant to be a bit like it's really weird <laughs> i don't think it's for me if i'm honest I'm gonna have a drink or something now oh so a massive massive thank you to everybody at orion for sending this to me and again 22nd of march 2018 this comes next of all i've got how to hang a witch by an uh, adriana mother god i didn't really butcher that but there's a quote on the front by jennifer niven saying that i could not put it down jennifer niven's one of my favorite favorite authors of all time so i'm gonna trust her on this but this says it's about the trials of high school uh, a modern day witch hunt and connections to salem's past when a centuries old curse is rekindled, Sam finds herself in the centre of it and can she stop history repeating itself? Um, and it says on the back here, it's like Mean Girls meets history class in the best possible way. So it sounds like really, really interesting. This actually comes out the 4th of January 2018, so not too long to wait for this book. Um, but it just sounds really, really good. And I'm super, super looking forward to giving this a read. So massive, massive thank you to everybody at Walker Books for sending this book to me. And next of all, I got a book that I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the third book that is in the Wicked uh, series trilogy. I'm not entirely sure what it is yet, um, but this is called Brave. It's by Jennifer L. Armtrout. As you all know, she is one of my all-time favourite authors. So anything that she publishes, I literally pre-order. I don't even like read what it's about. But I've read the first book that is in this series really really enjoyed it. I need to reread it so I thought it'd be perfect if I can actually pre-order this one and then I can read the first, the second and then go on to this one. But I'm really really excited to just see like where the story takes. Um, it's really really interesting. It's so so super cool but it's like a new adult sort of like paranormal and that's kind of like what I like about it. And then I've got this big old envelope. I've like plonked it all in here. It came in like two envelopes because obviously it's cheaper to post like separately. But I've wound it all in one envelope so I'm going to put it all out for you. So I've got this little candle and it's called The Two Clever Fox. It's mulled wine, uh, book nook. Oh, book and nook. Um, it's a candle inspired by Lee Bardugo's The Language of Thorns. And it's so sparkly and pretty. And it smells so good. So I'm going to put that over here because I do actually have the other three because I got the the box that they all came in as well. So I've got a second one but I love candles so I ain't going to say no to any more candles. Next of all in the envelope, I'm just going to let you pull it out. Uh, so we've got A Monster Calls, a novel by Patrick Ness from the original idea by Siobhan Dowd. I remember when I first read this um, that I really liked it. I think I actually got it, I think I got this as a library book. I can't even remember but I don't think I had the finished copy. I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that because I might have had it and I've given it away. Um, but I remember really really enjoying this story so maybe it's a sign I need to reread this so yeah this is super awesome and by the way this envelope is like a package of what I won for the Anti-Bully Reads readathon that Sarah Churchill hosted um, so I'm very very excited about this whole package in general this next bit that I pulled out uh, I haven't actually read this is called White Petals by Maria Grace uh, so this is what this one looks like it's all blue and it's pretty um, this one is about Emmeline who's tried to hold her family together since her dad died but her mum has been sectioned, everybody split up and Em will have to live in a care home just for three months and three months that is to make new friends, make mistakes and discover that she's got a secret gift she's got to learn to fight in more ways than one and learn so much about who she is and where she belongs and there's quotes in the back saying it's funny, engaging and a truly unpedalable read hooked from page one is a story about gifts of magic, love, family and friendship um, so yeah, it sounds like really interesting and I'm super super looking forward to giving this book a read. The next book I'm pulling out is Surviving High School by, is that Lily, Lily, Lily Pons, Melissa, Melissa De La Cruz. Oh my god, I did not know she wrote something like this. Ooh, it's got a little book depository bookmark in there, an old school one. 
So this is about Lily who sits alone at lunch until overnight her newfound digital fame catapults her into popularity and she has to deal with the clicks, the drama, the cute boys and the mean girls, all while keeping her grades up and making her parents proud. It's a hilarious heartfelt novel about lovable dork who goes from being bullied to being the most popular girl in school. Written by the Vine superstar with more than 10 million followers. So yeah, it sounds like pretty cool and awesome and you know, bullying, so that would be great. This one I'm pulling out, what is this? We're All Wonders, written and illustrated by RJ Palacio. Ah, oh, this is, oh this is really cool. We're All Wonders, this is really big, it's really big. Let's have a little look together. This it's illustrated as well, oh that's really cool. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do like ordinary things. I'm going to buy a kite ice cream. I play ball. If you're a really, really big fan of Wonder, then this will be absolutely perfect. It's awesome and it feels like a gem. Next thing I've pulled out is a badge and it says in it hashtag choose kind Wonder. So I've got a nice little badge to add to my badge and but or button collection. So we'll call them buttons. I'm also pulling out a tote. What is this? Break the chains, live for more, Red Rising. A Red Rising tote bag. Oh, that's really cool. I love my tote bags. I'm absolutely obsessed. I've got so many tote bags that it's like a little bit of an obsession. I do use them, I swear. Next book I'm pulling out is the movie cover edition of Wonder by RJ Palacio. I gave away my other book because I knew that this one was coming and this would be the one that I wanted to keep because, guys, this book is signed by the author themselves right there, that is so awesome and also this one contains pictures from the movie that's in the middle and I've watched the movie already and I absolutely loved it it was so good and really, really so close to the book and I loved it, like loads uh, if you guys haven't read this book already it is a middle grade but it's just it's so good you guys have to read it it's like oh it's amazing the next book i'm pulling out of the envelope is the boy who drew the future by rianne ivory nominated for the CILIP Carnegie Medal 2017. Can the future be redrawn? Tense, atmospheric, creepy and romantic. So it says here, Blaze has to draw people's futures to survive with threats of the workhouse and witch trials hanging over him. Noah tries all he can to stop drawing, but the more that he fights, the more it takes over. He wants to pass from normal in his new school, and as he gets closer to Beth, will he give himself away? One boy is hiding in the past, one is hiding in the present. Can their future set them free? It sounds really interesting, and again, I love the cover to this book. It's really blue and mystical, and the quotes on the back are saying, that it's mint writing, it gave them the feeling that they had when they were young reading a book and being captivated by it. They were transported somewhere else, a magnificent story of courage, perseverance and hope. Nerve blaze and the compelling intertwined stories will stay with you long after the final page. So it sounds really interesting and definitely something that I would love to give a read, so this is awesome. And the final book that I'm putting out I actually have read but I think I gave away my copy of it. Um, this is Can't Look Away by Donna Kuna. So like I say, I've read this. I really, really enjoyed it and I just wanted to pass the book on to somebody else. So I'm probably gonna like pass this one on again as well. Um, but this one is about a YouTube page and yeah, it does have bullying in it. Um, so it says here, every week thousands of people watch Tori's beauty vlog from tips on how to be popular and pretty, but when her sister is killed in an accident, the perfect world implodes. Tori mourns her sister in private, but her bubbly public persona is all over the web, so she finds that really difficult. Then she meets Louis, who challenges all she thought she knew about love, life and loss. So yeah, it's just like how she deals with her YouTube life and something tragic in her own life and she gets like bullied about it all so yeah if you guys want a really really good book that is about bullying then definitely definitely give this book a read um but yeah i'm glad i have it i might actually end up keeping it i don't really know what i'll do with it because i did read it but i've got so many books that i'm trying to like cut down and get like more ebooks and stuff um so yeah we shall see but yeah I'm, i've got it again so maybe it's a sign it's come back into my life so maybe it's come back for a reason 
So there you have it guys, that is the end of my December book haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have read any of these books that I have mentioned in today's video, do let me know down below in the comments what you thought about them, even if you didn't like them. I just would like to know, and if there's a book from this selection that you're like, Katie, you need to read that book next, then let me know as well. Also let me know what you guys have purchased or received in December. I hope you guys are going to have an absolutely fantastic December and Christmas Day, all the same. This month is all about like giving and receiving and family and friends and I'm feeling like really really happy and pride that you know I do have some friends out there especially you guys you guys are my friends too um, and I'm thanking you guys by obviously rewarding you with a new video every time but if you guys are new to my channel I upload videos all the time so feel free to subscribe to my channel it will mean the whole world to me and if you don't want to miss any of my videos there is a notification bell that you can click on and it will just pop up saying hey these uploaded this video so that way you can add it to your watch later list or you can watch it straight away whichever but if you do any of those things it would honestly mean the whole world to me you guys are my inspiration and I cannot thank you enough. But thank you very much for watching my video as always. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!